Hey everyone, I'm Terrielle and today we are taking our Pilates up off the floor into a standing mat Pilates routine. Let's do this. Not to be confused with Joe Pilates standing archival mat work, this mat work is a variation of the classic mat work that we usually do lying down on the ground. We're just gonna put a creative twist on it and keep ourselves upright the entire time. This is exciting because it will put your body into some different positions that you're not used to and strengthen the body in some different ways. It'll be a really nice challenge on your balance, and it's also really great for those days when you don't have a lot of time and you don't have a lot of space. This is another way to incorporate Pilates in your everyday life when it might not be super ideal. So if you find yourself maybe in a small hotel room, traveling, um, at an airport, what have you, and you don't wanna lay down on the ground to get your Pilates routine in, this is just the thing for you. All right, let's get started. All right, turns out getting a good angle for full body standing work is a little bit harder than I thought, so hopefully my head doesn't get cut off while we do this. So I'm gonna have you start standing, of course, for our standing mat in Pilates stance. That is the heels together, the toes slightly apart. You wanna make sure your toes aren't too wide because you'll lose your balance just about a fist width distance. And from here, let's take the hands right behind the nape of the neck. And I want you to pull up on that nape of the neck, just stacking your palms one on top of the other. Make sure you're not interlacing the fingers. Lift your low abdominals in. And from there, we'll float up on to the tippy toes. And we'll just start warming up the legs by floating down five, four, three, two. How low can you go? One, and then lifting back up five, Four, keeping the heels up and glued together, squeeze the backs of the legs at the top. We go four more down. Two, three, four, five, and up. Two, three, four, and five. Three more. And lift. Two more times, making sure to get a nice squeeze at the top and not to collapse at the bottom. Last two times here. And lift. Good, one more. And all the way up to the top. Whew, that float your feet down. Heels are flat to the bottom. Keep that scoop in your abs as you send your arms long by your sides. We'll set up for the 100 here so the arms will stretch out about a 45 degree angle. And now I want you to draw your chin to your chest and then scoop in and up with your low abdominals to hollow out and slightly round in the upper back. So you're, it's almost like someone punched you in the gut. And then we begin to pump arms up and down vigorously, breathing in and breathe out. Two, three, four, five, breathe in and exhale. Three, four, five. Now just as it is your job when we're lying down on the mat, try to keep your upper body and your legs from moving and I'm finding this actually pretty hard to stay stationary. I feel like my body rocking, but my muscles are really engaged and working quite hard to keep that stability. We're about halfway there. So let's float up onto tippy toes to add a little bit of extra challenge and then scoop in deeper. Breathe in two, three, four, five, and out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, three, four, five, and out. One more breath in here. Last breath out. Go ahead and steady the arms. And then lower all the way down from here. We'll lift the arms up to the ceiling for roll-ups. Since we're standing there, roll down. So we'll drop the chin to the chest, rolling down. Bone by bone, inch by inch, through the spine. Now, no collapsing at the bottom. Think of deepening that C curve by lifting, lifting that belly up at the bottom, and then roll the rest of the way. Tailbone pulls down, lower back, mid back, upper back. Reach sky high. Exhale, roll down. Upper, middle, lower back, low belly scoops in, and roll it up to reach tall to the ceiling. Two more, rounding down, rolling down. Two, three, to stretch forward, and rolling up. Two, three, reach 
to the sky. One more time, rolling down. Two, three, and reach forward, scooping and roll up. Two, three, reach to the sky, arms by your sides. Let's go ahead and take hands to hips now. Now keeping, let's actually bring your big toes together so we'll be parallel in your standing leg. Let's pull the right knee into the chest for single leg circles, catch your balance. From here, we'll send that right leg, straighten it out, holding it out at hip height or as high as you can go and then externally rotate it. From there, we circle crossing over your midline, down and around, lift your abdominals, lift the leg. Four more and around and up and three and around and up. Now make sure that you're not letting those hips go up or down. They're super stationary. Your box stays square. One more circle. Hold the top and then reverse to the outside. Cross over and lift. Ooh, out, cross over and up. Three more times. Last two. And one. And then send it down. Other side. Left knee pulls in to reach out, externally rotated, cross over the midline, and lift. And I like to think of spreading my toes on that bottom leg and really squeezing the seat of my standing side to keep me upright. You have two more circles here. Make sure you're working the scoop of your abs. Last one, and then reverse. And if your leg is low, that's okay. This is a lot of work. We ain't no ballerinas here. It's okay if we are ballerinas, that's fine too. One more time. Leg lifts up, hold it, and then send it all the way down. Come back into your Pilates stance. We're rolling like a ball. How are we gonna roll like a ball standing? Let's find out. Reach arms to the ceiling, lift up onto your tippy toes. Keep your heels glued together. We're gonna squat down and round at the same time. Hands reach to ankles, breathe in. Exhale over. Ooh. Hold that balance. See if you can round more. And then let's lift up all in one piece. Stick the landing. Breathe in. Exhale over. Now round hands to ankles. We're going to bring this back later in the ab series too. Breathe in and up. Good. Exhale over. Yes. Now hold there. From here, I want you to sit your heels or sit onto your heels. Mm -hmm. Good holding. Now see if you can round. Mm -hmm. And then from there, what we're gonna do is lower the heels down Ooh, as much as you can. If you have tight ankles and stuff, hold it, hold it, hold it. And then lift back up onto those tippy toes. Two more, round the back so that you can lower those heels without falling backward. And lift up. On to the tippy toes. One more time. Bring on the back. Heels down. And we'll lift up onto the tippy toes. And then stand up tall. Whoa, catch that balance. And then lower the heels down. Shake it out if you need to. Ab series. Legs still in Pilates stance. Standing tall. Right knee into chest. Now we pull it up. Pull up, up. Switch legs. In, in. And switch. And as you do this, I want you to think of lifting tall, of course. And then as that leg goes down, you go up, in, in, and you lift taller. Abs pull in, in, in. What's lifting your leg? Your abs, of course. In, in, and down. In, in, and down. Two more times. In, in, and down. One more. In, in, and down. Last leg so that you're even. Set it down. Reach your arms up onto tippy toes. Scoop, ankles, lift it up. Circle the arms around, find those ankles. Try not to fall over and reach over to ankles. Two more left. This is your double leg stretch. Over to ankles, one more time. Reach up to the sky and over to ankles. Lift up, whoop, and then lower. Heels down from here, right leg up. Grab onto that ankle, fold forward towards the leg, pull it in, 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 
in. See how my elbows are bending to the side, just like we do on the mat. In, in. And pull, pull. And that leg lifts and you catch it. Right to that ankle. In, in. And in, in. Woo! One more. In, in. And in, in. And rest, good. Now, back into your ply stance for double leg stretch. From here, double straight leg stretch. We'll take the hands behind the head and then hinge over so that you're in a flat back position. From there, I want you to round your spine, chin to the chest, and then flatten the spine. A little bit different, round the spine and flatten the spine. Where does that round come from? Those abdominals pull in and up as deeply as you can and flatten up. Two more round. And flatten. One more time round. And flatten. And then make your way up. All right, from here, let's go parallel for crisscross. Left knee into chest, right elbow to left knee. Now go over and then pull into that center and then come back. Good, twist, knee up and over and in. And switch, twist. Whoa, don't die, don't fall over. And switch and use your powerhouse. Ugh. One more each way. E, yes. And last one here. Rest. Now, let's go wide stance. Feet parallel for spine stretch forward. Now, we're gonna take it all the way down in a flat back. So, this is kind of where we are. Reaching out shoulder height with those arms. Usually what we do on the mat. From here, we're gonna drop the chin down and then round the spine by lifting your rib cage up, finding that stretch. Good, and then go ahead and flatten that spine back out. And again, chin to the chest, round, scoop into your powerhouse, working that spine stretch forward all the way up to flatten the back. Two more times, scoop into round, pulling your low abdominals in, and flatten. One more time, round, and flatten. Good, now go ahead and soften your knees, roll all the way up to stand. Let's bring the feet together, pull out your stance for a little bit of swan or less to exercise for the day. So the abdominals pull in. I want you to tuck your elbows into your sides. Big palms press outward. Now, from here, as you press your arms away, you're going to lift your gaze, lift your chest, and extend in your upper back. Now think of reaching your chest forward as you bend those elbows back into your ribs, just as we would on the floor. And again, push away to lift. Reaching back, working that extension. Pull the low belly in and bring it forward. Two more times. Reach, pressing away. And pull, ending the ribs. One more, press away, lifting that gaze, opening the chest to the sky. And pull it in. Standing tall, good. From there, go ahead and just drop your head down, roll down all the way. And then soften your knees and roll up baby counter stretch. All right, and you are all done with your standing mat for the day. And there you have it, your Pilates standing mat routine. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them in the comments box below 
or you can shoot me a DM on Instagram at Terriel Samuels. That is also linked below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed the standing mat repertoire. I plan to add on to this in the future, so let's call this one part one, and we'll look forward to part two where we add on some more intermediate exercises in a standing format. So if you liked this video, if you had fun today, if you learned something, and if you got a good workout in, make sure to hit like, please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on the mat next time.